If you want to become a successful artist who is selling their artwork online, it is entirely possible. Today I'm going to give you a formula to get you started on the road to becoming a successful artist. And that formula is very simple. It's audience, product, and content that converts. So today I'm going to give you those three tips. If you watch all the way to the end, I'm going to give you suggestions for where to go next with this process. For those who don't know me, my name is Gretchen Stuppy. I'm a contemporary oil painter painting out of my home studio here in New Hampshire. Thanks for joining me. So before I get started today, I just wanted to welcome you here to my studio. I've got Callie, my dog here, whining in the background, so I'm gonna have to let her out here in just a second. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> All right, she's going out. So I am in my studio here in New Hampshire. I've got a little bit of a cold, so I you know, sound a little croaky today, um, but I am here in my, my studio in March, um, which means it's been kind of gray and rainy, um, and it's been a good time to kind of refresh my goals that I set in January to think about how to sell my artwork. So before I jump into my kind of three tips for you today um, and my formula for kind of creating success as an artist, I want to do a little mindset exercise. Okay, so for this exercise, I want you to picture yourself as a successful artist. So if you're watching this, you might find that you have emotional baggage that you have been carrying around about being an artist. And this could be something that you were told as a kid. If you said, you know, I want to be an artist and someone was like, oh, you know, you don't want to do that. Artists are poor. They don't make any money. Or, you know, you're just going to be by yourself all the time. You are, if you're watching this video, you've likely come to this place, um, being an artist with some of this baggage. So just kind of be aware of what's there and be aware that there's probably biases and preconceptions you have about what it is to be an artist. So you may think that you, you don't want to, or that in order to sell your art, especially online, you're going to have to change who you are. So just kind of sit in that space for a few minutes in thinking about what it looks like, what success looks like for you, because there are artists who are posting every day on Instagram and they have an incredible audience and following, and they are selling all their artwork, either prints or originals quickly throughout their but you have to be willing to be on Instagram every day or whatever platform it is that you want to be on. So you may decide that, you know, your success as an artist means that people recognize you locally, which means that you don't want to be working on building an online following. You want to be working on building something more in your community. So just sit in that space, put yourself in the situation of a successful artist, you know, someone who has, all the followers they want if that's what you want or you know can sell an artwork a piece of artwork immediately what would you be doing because you want to be very clear on your end goal before you build in all the success you know if you love doing small paintings but you find that those aren't selling so you just focus on big paintings but you don't want to be painting big paintings then you don't want to build a business that is focused on something that you don't ultimately want so sit with that for a minute and jot it down on a piece of paper what a successful art business or career looks like to you uh, or drop a note in one of the, in the comments here so other people can see it. But just be really honest about what you want out of this art career. Next, I want to dive into the formula you need to be a successful artist and selling your artwork online. So the number one thing you need, the first thing that you need is an audience. And you'll hear a lot about people talking in the kind of content online creating world about niching down, you know, choosing whether that as an artist, that might be, you know, you just paint boats or you just paint birds or you're just doing landscapes. And if you, if that's who you are as an artist, that's fine. Just keep doing that. But when I talk about finding your audience, what you want to be thinking about is who is your audience? What are the things that they enjoy doing? liking you can you can go as deep as you want with this so choose a single person you know maybe your you know typical artist that's our customer that's collecting your artwork is somebody who lives by the ocean who has a you know 
a coastal home and has enough income that they can able to afford and appreciate art, but they're more likely to fill their art up with maritime focused artwork. Uh, maybe, maybe you're looking at nature lovers. So you do a lot of nature, nature photography or nature artwork or nature drawing, whatever it is. And your audience is someone who loves nature. So when you start to think about your audience, they may be people who like to buy your art, but what are their other interests? So maybe, you know, the, the person who is a nature lover also loves to be out in the garden. So maybe you have a beautiful garden and you want to be able to share some of that um, background in your, you know, who you are as a creator with them. So think bigger picture about who your audience is, because this is going to help you when you go to get online and put yourself out there on whatever platform you're choosing to know what kind of content is going to resonate with your audience. And this is something that you can experiment with, but being able to connect with your audience, online is going to help you grow your audience and it's going to help you grow an audience of people who care about your artwork. So spend some time thinking about your audience. The next thing you need is great art. So it is entirely possible to produce great art and not sell any because you're missing all these other pieces that we're talking about today, but it's even harder to have bad art and not be able to sell it. So you have your audience. The next thing you need is your product, your, your content, which is for you as an artist is your artwork. So if your art isn't up to the level that you want it to be, don't push forward and try to sell your art too quickly. So you can still work on building your audience, but you also want to give yourself time to get your artwork to a professional level. So you are ready to sell it. I did a whole video recently about how do you know if you're ready to sell your art? So you can go check that out if you want more about how to, you know, know if your art is up to quality. Um, but this is going to be something that comes, um, from you personally looking at your artwork. You can also get feedback from other artists, um, put art in local shows and get, you know, feedback from, from, people who are coming to the show or other customers, but you want to make sure you have a product. And when you have that art, you also have to think, how are you going to sell it? Are you going to sell originals? Are you going to sell prints? Are you going to sell artwork that's been put onto a t-shirt or a card or a calendar? What is the product that you're going to be selling? So you have your audience, you have your amazing product or your artwork. The last thing you need is content that create, that converts your audience into customers. And so for an artist, you should be working on how, what your message is to your existing audience. And that audience can be, you know, if, if you're focused here, this I'm mostly focused here on online sales. So if your audience is on Instagram or maybe you have a YouTube channel, or maybe you will post your art on Facebook or you're sharing it on Pinterest, whatever your platforms are, how are you going to, what is the, what is the messaging that is going to allow you to convert those customers in or those audience members into customers? And you want to be able to be kind of building up this audience so that they care about you. They appreciate your artwork. They've seen some behind the scenes. They understand a little bit more. People want to buy art from artists that they know a little bit about. It becomes, much easier to sell your artwork if you are able to tell the story of your art and you as an artist. So this means for every piece of art that you create, you actually want to be sharing it multiple times in different places. So it, well, and in the same place. So if you are, let's say, let's use Instagram as an example, which is not my favorite art platform as an artist, but is a great visual platform. Instagram, if you are going to be sharing your artwork, it's not going to show, first of all, your art to every person who comes to Instagram. It's also, it also takes each person a few times of seeing that artwork before they think, oh, I've seen this artwork. Oh, I love that. I love that. Oh, I'm going to buy it. It's going to take a couple of times. So for every artwork, piece of artwork you create, maybe you do a behind the scenes. Maybe you do a time lapse of you painting the art. Maybe you do a reveal where you turn the back and then show that artwork to the audience. Maybe you're showing finishing touches. Maybe it's you in a video talking about what you did to paint this and why you chose to paint this piece of piece of art. What 
stories can you tell about your art and your process that is going to make somebody interested in purchasing from you? So, and, and I don't want to discourage you from doing the other parts of your life. You know, you don't want to create, um, you know, a, a channel or a, a platform where, you know, one day you're talking about you're traveling here and the next day you have a picture of your artwork and then you're in an art museum. And then the next day you have, you know, a story about your kids. Yes, you want to be telling the story of who you are as an artist, but you want to focus on your life as an artist with a couple auxiliary stories and things like that that are going to help bring in um, people and and connect with your audience. But if your if your channel is about everything under the sun and your artwork's thrown in, people might appreciate it, but they're not necessarily going to convert to customers. So that brings me to where you should be focusing your time on the internet. And I, I'm planning on doing a whole video where I talk about different platforms to sell your artwork. But when you're just starting out, I really recommend you focus on one to three platforms. And ideally what you do is choose an evergreen platform. So something that is constantly going to be driving traffic to your artwork. So that could be a, a blog, a, a podcast, a video platform. Uh, it could also just be your website where you're just posting your, you know, your products and your art. That's your evergreen content. And then you should choose one kind of short form content. And that's just going to be something that's out there actually pulling people in. So for an artist that might be Instagram or Facebook, Pinterest kind of qualifies. Uh, anything you're doing out in your community is kind of another channel of bringing people into your website, but you need something where you can be constantly feeding in, you know, your, your content so that people are being drawn to your, your place to buy your work. And, you know, for, for an artist who just wants a website, um, I would, I would recommend at least being active on that once a week. Um, if you're doing video, same thing. Uh, and then if you're doing a short content like Facebook or Instagram, I would recommend being on there often. So that's like three to six times a week where you're interacting and sharing and posting if you want to be growing your audience in that spot. So that's my formula for increasing your art sales and becoming successful as an artist. If you uh, want to get in kind of do a bigger deep dive into setting up a business plan. I have a whole video. I recommend you go over to my channel and check that out. It's a video about how to set up a business plan as an artist, what to consider, um, all the things that you should be thinking about. And that is a great way to walk you through, um, kind of how to start out as an artist. So I recommend you go over there. I think you'll like that video. And if you are new here, thank you for watching. I hope you have a creative day and please subscribe and share here at the at my channel it really helps me as a creator to have um, people subscribe to my channel and go head over to my website and check out my art thanks so much and have a great day